Hello there, Wibber here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Pet Bat Mod, and it basically adds pet bats into Minecraft, and they work in a similar way to how wolves do. So they'll go around and attack mobs for you, um, but the difference between pet bats and pet wolves is that pet bats actually have levels, and they gain experience and stuff like that, and that gives them more attack power and more health. So much more advanced than the wolf system. Um, but anyway, the first thing you probably want to know is how you can actually tame a bat, and to tame a bat you're going to need some pumpkin pies. And if you don't actually know how to craft pumpkin pie, even though it is in vanilla Minecraft, all you need is sugar, eggs, and some pumpkins, and then you can craft yourself loads of pumpkin pies. And then these are used to tame bats, so if I just spawn a bat now, like so, and then get some pumpkin pie, and then right click on the bat. Oh, he's running away from me. Come on, come here. There we are. I've got him. And you can see he's now got a name tag that's underneath him as he flies around, and that means he's tamed. And then if you want to obtain him, so you can actually rename him, I'll come back. You have to punch him. It sounds a bit evil, really, just punching bats. Come on, come back here. Ah, where's he gone? There we are. Picked him up. So now, if I go to my inventory, you can see I've got Caesar in here, but you can actually rename him just by holding the bat in your hand and then right clicking. And you can see we've got this whole um, interface here where I can change his name and it tells you the level of the bat, the amount of experience until the next level, the health of the bat, and then the attack power of the bat. So I'm just going to call this, I don't know. Whip Bat, I don't know, it's a really weird name, but there you go. Um, so we can just name the bat, and then to exit out of this, you just press escape. And um, as you gain levels, I might have already said this, but you gain attack power, and you also increase your max health. So there we go, and now we've got a Whip Bat, and if to deploy this guy again, so he's flying around, all we need to do is press the drop key, like that, and there we go. We've got the Whip Bat flying around, and now I've got a Pet Bat, and this guy will actually follow me around as I walk around the map. So I'm just going to walk over here. And he should be following me, yep. Um, there's also another feature that if he can um, find a place to like, hang underneath, he'll hang there. If I'm in the same location for a while. So if I stand here, he should hopefully latch on under this. Um, I hope he does. Uh, nope, he's just going to fly around me. He should latch on under this. But he's not. Hmm. Um, but they will hang under um, ledges around you and they'll wait there until you start moving again. Because they're very lazy and they don't like flying around too much. Um, it'd be really nice if we could actually show you this um, functionality. I'm going to put some more planks and hope he... Uh, there we are. He's latched on. So this is what it looks like. They just hang upside down. You've probably all seen how bats hang in Minecraft. Um, but this just shows that pet bats do the same. And look at those lovely yellow eyes. I mean, bats are so cute. And this just makes bats like ten times more awesome. Um, so yeah, they just hang around. And if you remove the block that they're sitting on, they will fly away, of course, because they're getting disrupted. And whoa. That is a bit peculiar. <laughs> he was like hovering in midair. I'm not sure that's the intended feature, but yeah. So we could just break the blocks like that. And also, if a foreign player or an aggressive mob walks into this area, he will also fly away. He's not going to sit around while you're about to be attacked. Um, but now I think it's a good time to actually go over and show you some of the attacking features and what it looks like when the bat attacks you. So I've now set it to night time so I can show you the combat mechanics of this bat. And here he is, just waiting in suspense to actually kill some mobs. So I think I'm going to start off by um, spawning a zombie, and then getting the zombie to be mad at me, and then the bat should go after him and attack him. And every time the bat hit him, hits him for um, a certain amount of damage, um, the bat gains that amount of experience. So if he hits, uh, if the bat hits him for two damage, then the bat will gain two experience, and that's how the leveling system works. Um, the bat doesn't actually have to kill the animal; it just has to do damage to gain experience. So yeah, I think that I really like the way that system works. So you don't have to worry about you taking the final blow, and therefore your bat not getting any experience for the kill, because it always gets experience for every bit of damage it does. You can see it has made short work of that zombie, um, but that's mainly because the zombie didn't attack back because of the stupid AI system where zombies don't actually attack other mobs in the game. I don't actually think they attack um, peaceful mobs, and bats are classed as peaceful mobs. So yeah, that's a bit of a problem. So now I think I'm going to spawn a skeleton, and this one should actually attack the bat because um, it's got bows and it should be able to actually shoot the guy with an arrow. Poor bat is now getting attacked by a skeleton. Hopefully this bat can hit him enough times before the um, skeleton kills him. Um, but I don't think so, because the bat only has 16 health, and the, um, he has to do like 30 hits on the skeleton to kill him. And this is not going to end well for my poor bat, but now I can show you what happens when the bat dies. So once the bat dies, it returns to an inventory, like so. And there you can see, it's got like half health left, well, no health left. Um, but if I just right click on it, um, you can see it's gained 15 experience, because it did 15 bits of damage on the mobs it was attacking. Um, and then once it gets to like 25 experience, it's going to level up. And then I'll get some more attack power and greater health. Um, but to actually heal up your bat, um, you can place it in an anvil. 
along with some pumpkin pie. And then you can see it's got an enchantment cost, and then you can um, repair your bat like that. Then you can place it in again, and more pumpkin pie, and repair it again, and finally do it again, and then fully repair your bat. So that took three bits of pumpkin pie, and my bat's in fully working order again. So if I right click on it, you can see it's got 16 of 16 health, and that's pretty much how you repair your bat. It sounds a bit weird really, repairing your bat. Probably healing your bat would be a better way to describe that. So I actually forgot to mention that there's a less barbaric way of actually um, healing bats than just putting them on an anvil and effectively hitting them with a pumpkin pie because that's theoretically what you'd be doing if you put a bat on an anvil and then along with a pumpkin pie. And it's a bit barbaric and we don't really want to be doing that to the poor innocent bats. So if you actually want to um, heal the bats a better way, you can just place the bat down, although it does require the bat to have some health for this to work. Um, then you just like place down the pumpkin pie on the ground and hopefully the bat will swoop in you can hear the eating sounds, and it will eat the pumpkin pie, and then fly up, and it's fully repaired. Well, not repaired, I keep saying repaired because I've put it in an anvil. I mean, healed up. So now it's just going to fly around in full of health, and that's a much more effective way of healing your bat on the go without having to have an anvil, and then beat the poor thing to death with a, oh well, actually, beat the poor thing to life, that's a bit ironic, um, with a pumpkin pie. But anyway, onwards and upwards. So there is another feature in the mod which means when you hold the actual pet bat item in your hand it gives you a night vision effect. It does seem a bit weird the whole notion of like holding a bat in your hand, but I'm presuming if you've tamed the bat in real life it would just stay there because it knows you and it knows you're safe and not a threat. Um, and the night vision effect is worth noting that it actually flickers on and off, um, but it is infinite. So you can see here um, it lasts for about 4 seconds and then goes down, although it is a bit covered by the um, not enough items display, it actually is infinite. Um, and Pretty much, this is meant to simulate the fact that um, bats use echolocation to actually see, and since echolocation works on waves, um, like bouncing back from objects, it does um, flicker on and off because there are periods where the waves, none of the waves are actually reaching the bat and it can't actually see anything. And I'm presuming they're trying to get that across um, with the night vision effect flickering on and off. Um, and I will note that because I'm using shaders, it doesn't seem to be working on the ground, but if you don't use shaders, it will actually make the ground brighter. So if I turn off shaders, Yep, there we are. Very, very, very bright. So there we go, that's the night vision effect. So something else I wanted to test to do with the bats is whether they will actually attack creepers, because I know for a fact that wolves don't attack creepers because they don't want to be blown up, but will bats? So I'm just going to spawn down my um, bat here. Good old whip bat is just going to hang there and chill out. And now I'm just going to spawn a creeper. Oh, whoops, I need to be on easy or something like that. Then spawn a creeper. And now if I hit the creeper, um, nope, the bat will not attack it. Very clever bat. It's not very suicidal. So it's not going to fly up to the creeper, then hit it, and then the creeper's going to explode and kill it. It's not that dumb, which is brilliant. So don't have to worry about them dying to creepers all the time. Although, do bear that in mind if you're attacking a creeper and you're about to die and you really need some help, your bat is not going to come and aid you because it's a bit more clever than you are to try and take on a creeper. So there we go. Um, another thing I wanted to test is the wither. So if I spawn down a wither now. Hmm, yep, there we go. Um, I can see this probably only going one way. It's gonna, the wither's gonna hit the bat once, and then the bat's gonna die. Oh, I need to get him in my inventory before he dies. There's an explosion, isn't there? A big one at the start, and I don't want him to be killed by that massive explosion. So yeah, I'm now gonna spawn down um, the bat, hopefully, and see if the wither will, well, the bat will attack the wither. So where is my bat? Oh, two hits already to the bat, and the bat is dead. Okay then, it doesn't look like the bat's going to be very useful against the wither, because it's just going to die in a few hits. And now the wither proceeds to go and defeat everything in the area. It's going to take it on the enderman now, so probably not a good thing to set your bat on the wither. It's not going to turn out well. Um, another feature that I need to mention to do with the bat is that if you're on a multiplayer server, and you have your bat item in your inventory, and then someone comes along and kills you and then steals your bat item, don't worry about it, because the bat is actually um, set to match the player and not the item. So the bat you've made will always be tamed to you, so if the other person then uses the bat and spawns it, it'll actually be their bat, and if they don't have a bat, it won't spawn. So that's kind of a cool feature, you don't have to worry about your bat being stolen by other players. Um, but that pretty much sums it up for the mod. Um, the bats, as I said, level up, and as they level up they gain more attack damage and more health, and they're just really good pets to have around that follow you around and help you kill mobs. Um, I think a good use of these is if you have a diamond sword and you hit a mob one or two times, it's only got a bit of health left, and you have your bat follow you and clean up the mess, so you don't have to worry about um, wasting the durability of your sword on the remaining bit of health left on the mob you're trying to kill. So yeah, thank you for watching. This is the Pet Bat Mod. 
and um, please remember to leave a like if you've enjoyed and I'll see you next mod video.